How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Today, it's an exciting day. Uh, we're at this little spring-fed creek. It's a fly fishing only spring creek. It's open year round. And so the special thing about this area is there's two trout hatcheries on the creek. And because it's fly fishing only, nobody's uh, retaining these fish so the hatcheries grow these fish and put them in the water and they there's 10 pound trout in here easily I'm sure well I'm not sure last week I probably caught a three or four pound trout anywho uh, so this is my fourth time out here and the, the last time I came out I caught one fish and I had multiple bites the time before that I had one bite and then the time before that I didn't have anything so I think I'm starting to figure out a pattern here and I think it's finally time to to get my camera gear out and see if I can catch some fish and get some content for you guys. Anywho, the weather app says that it's sunny and clear, but that's what it looks like. So not sure what that means. Uh, it's 30 degrees outside, so it's not warm and the last two times I've been here, I've ripped my pants. And uh, I'll put a picture or two of that up for you guys so you can see what I mean. I mean, I ripped my pants twice. Consecutive times coming out here. So I have some new pants. Um, they're warm. Hopefully we don't rip them today because I cannot buy more pants right now. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get out there. It's gonna take us a while to get set up, so hopefully we can get fishing in the next 20, 25 minutes and uh, catch some pretty big trout. So stay tuned and we'll see if we can get some good action going for you guys. All right guys, I just wanted to show you my setup real quick. So I have my six weight and then I have a size 18, uh, I wanna say it's a midge not sure which type and then I don't know maybe 24 inches all the way up to my indicator and this is a six weight nine foot and so that's what I'll be using all right ladies and gentlemen we're making it down to the first spot here it's supposed to be a sunny day but as you can see the sun is not in sight anywhere but we're gonna try to make do and see if we can't catch some fish anyways. So you gotta be really careful in this area not to spook the fish, because they're really smart fish. Since this area is catch and release, many of, if not all of these fish have been caught before. So it's like, they know your game. Maybe not on the camera, but for sure. Usually when I'm out here, it's super windy, so it's a nice change of pace to not have any wind. It's certainly chilly though.
That was a huge fish off to my left. But there's a lot of different areas here, so we're gonna make a move. Another big part of fishing at this spot is uh, because these fish are so smart, they see you before you start fishing, it's game over. They're already on to you by that point. Anyways, we're gonna walk down to the next spot in our section here and uh, get back to fishing, so stay tuned. back out here it's a different day it's a couple days later actually um, the last time I was out here I didn't have really any luck other than a few bites so some of that footage might make it into the video I don't know but today we're going with a different route we're using our four weight with a tiny little woolly bugger gonna see if we can entice any fish with this it's a olive bead head and it's got the little flashies on it but yeah it's starting to get a little sunny so hopefully it's not too too cold stay tuned and hopefully we can get some fish on the line today
my god. Well guys, this is by far the biggest fish that I will ever catch. And I got it on camera. I'm literally, literally crying. Can you get out of there? Crying from the wind, not from the fish. Wow. Wow, we got them released really quick. I didn't take any pictures with my phone, that's okay. I hope the GoPro got it, so. Wow. Oh, I wish you guys could see my face. I'm, I was trying to keep my eyes open to see the fish in this wind. It's insane. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I was gonna fish more after I caught that really big trout, but the wind, uh, well, especially the gusts, they just keep getting more and more gusty. And uh, yeah, my casting is just not to the point where I can sit out here and cast in the wind a bunch. Like I'm gonna get hung up on trees, who knows, maybe end up breaking a rod or something. So it's not what I'm into. So I think we're gonna call it a day for now. But we'll be back out here. We'll catch some more massive winter trout and uh, just keep on keeping on. That was an awesome fish. By far my PB on a fly rod, which is funny because my previous PB on a fly rod was here. So that'll be cool. That's cool. Everything about it's cool. I had a lot of fun. I've only been out here for a couple of hours, but like I said, this wind is just relentless. So stay tuned. We're gonna have more content coming your way just as soon as I can get it filmed. And as always, if you like my content, please, please, please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to comment and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.